CBC Science uh, senior science reporter Nicole Mortellaro has goosebumps about all of this. She's been soaking it all in. Five new pictures, is that right? Yes. One yesterday, four today. Uh, what, what are they? Why should we be excited about all of this, Nicole? Well, because we are looking back in time, and. Also, I mean, so you see that the, the image that was released yesterday and they were talking just now about seeing these little specks of like red dots on these images. Those are the earliest, some of the earliest galaxies we've seen. And while we have seen images from Hubble before, um, they haven't been as, uh, as, as precise and as beautiful as these, you know, and for me, I just think it's crazy. Um, you know, it hasn't even been a hundred years since we knew there were galaxies out there. And that was Edwin Hubble who made that discovery or confirmation. And now we're looking at galaxies that are at the beginning of our known universe. And it's just, we're traveling back in time. So I think that's absolutely wild. But there's also, well, for me, I have to say what I was really impressed with was the uh, image of that planetary nebula, the, so, uh, the Southern Ring Nebula. I did not think we were gonna see that amount of detail. And that is just wild because it's also kind of what's, what's gonna happen to our star, shedding off those gases. Amazing. And, and Nicole, that's the one with the two stars. Here it is. Yes. This is the Southern Ring Nebula. Two stars in the middle sort of spinning around each other, throwing off all that gas and dust, which gives us those incredible uh, colors. Uh, it, it looks like some sort of amoeba to me, but that's out there in the universe. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, and I was really surprised about the detail. I really wish, actually, NASA had shown us Hubble's image together, side by side with that, to give the public an idea of just how sharp this image is. But for me... The Carina Nebula, that is the one for me. I, I love this, and this, this image was absolutely jaw-dropping. Uh, and you know what? If people want to go on NASA's web image site with this, um, with the some of the images, you can actually zoom in. And trust me, you're not going to be disappointed. Yeah. This is what we're made of, and this is what we're looking at. You know, this one we're looking at right now, this Carina's Nebula. Yes. Astronomers call it the stellar nursery because it's where stars are born. Exactly. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Nicole, you always excite me when I find out new, uh, you know, information from NASA and you make it uh, digestible. You be well, okay? Yes, thank you. That is uh, CBC senior science reporter Nicole Mortillaro.